as some of you have seen in the past, I crack shells. Um, after uh, speaking with some people on the internet, uh, namely this uh, one lady called Elizabeth, at, I believe she was at a university, she told me that uh, their university has gone to 100% boil out when it comes to uh, ridding the ceramic shells of the wax. And she also went on to say that they have nearly a 100% success rate. That is remarkable. So what I have done is uh, I've used just a propane tank. Uh, these are from Lowe's for like 20 bucks. And uh, I fabric cobbled a, a small burner here, uh, just a single nozzle burner. And this is a frame that I'm going to, I'm going to try zippy ties. Uh, I believe the shell could bounce around and potentially break while it's boiling. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and zippy tie the, uh, the shell to these little tangs right here. And we're going to take and do it all inside of a large aluminum bucket. Very tall. And the shell, once the water is up to boil, we're going to take and lower this in and uh, hope that uh, all the wax comes flying out of there and uh, out it comes. So fingers crossed and we're going to get to it and give this a shot. Here's our victim here. This is actually uh, this little portion right here is a piece that I cut out of a lantern and uh, with a typical typical hollow uh, three quarter inch sprue running down the middle with a couple of uh, what are these guys half inch. Uh, and then my normal pouring cup style. I've already removed the hook out of this uh, and I could just about see that hole running down through the middle. But uh, with it zippy tied in place like this, uh, it doesn't have, it can't slip down. I, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. Uh, I know it's going to be rocking and rolling. I don't want it to break. So let's give this a whirl and uh, see what happens. All right, fingers crossed. Time to boil some water. so I have no idea what we're going to see. Rock and roll. Oh man. Actually a little short on water almost. Woo, that's close.
looks empty to me. I'm going to go for one more dip just because I can. This stuff is water soluble, but I guess if you're fast enough whoa, and it's hot enough, you can make it work. I am going to call that a win. Absolutely a win. Now I think the trick is, is let it dry out overnight and uh, get it in the kiln and uh, go ahead and vitrify the shell. And uh, one of the ways I know this worked, these are. Uh, those holes are wide open. Those are the holes from these two. These two little pieces here. <laughs> Rock on. <laughs> Win. Wow. Uh, this is pretty crazy. Um, something that I really wasn't expecting to work. Uh, keep in mind, ceramic slurry. Uh, this shell is actually water soluble. The slurry itself, you throw a bunch of water at it and you can wash it away. Uh, I would say if you continue to keep washing this, eventually you'll lose your shell completely. Uh, I think why this actually might work is that the water is so hot, it's done so fast, uh, gets the wax out and you're done. Uh, amazing. Uh, did I expect it to work? Yeah, I kind of actually did. Uh, I did some experiments uh, last year with something. It's known as dimensional de-wax. Uh, and essentially, it's the same thing, but I didn't do it to these temperatures, and I didn't do it to this scale. So this is kind of a first for me. Uh, the dimensional de-wax I did was a solid block of wax that was invested, and I slowly lowered it into hot water. It was about 190. And uh, the only problem is it goes bell jar if you're doing it upside down so, so well, that's not any good uh, you see the the frame and the outside of this and uh, all of this uh, I just it a bit. all of this uh, apparatus here everything has got a, like a thin coating of wax uh, totally to be expected because well you got to go in and out and there's that wax that's floating around inside of the, the boiling water so uh, let's cut this off and see if there's any ill effects um, I don't foresee any. It's nice to know that Harbor Freight cheapy zippy ties will withstand boiling water for a short period of time. Oh, well, that came right off. Uh, the shell is not hard yet. Uh, that process is called vitrification. And that's where we run this thing up to the 1700 degrees and it does vitrify. Now I don't know uh, what the what the recommendation is for drying out at this period of the uh, the wet shell according to elizabeth she said run the shells up to about 700 degrees for a few hours to take to give them a chance to get dried out obviously you wouldn't want to pour hot metal in this because it would be pretty exciting uh, yeah, get a good spot to give this one a snip too so yeah so these shells are still very fragile at this state uh, so i want to be very careful that i don't take them break the shells. Once they are vitrified, they're surprisingly tough. All right. And that is it. Get rid of our frame. And uh, we take a peek inside. And uh, it looks like it's empty. Looks like it's empty. Main body of the shell looks pretty good. 
Uh, I'm not seeing any cracks. I do see a crack up at the top on the pouring cup. Uh, right. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. It's right where my finger is. There is a small crack there. Um, this is normal actually for me. Every single pouring cup I crack, but not, not seeing any cracks through the main body of it is uh, really, really good. So, yeah. So now it's time to get it in the kiln and uh, go ahead and start drying it out. And uh, I will uh, go ahead and uh, apply a little more slurry and some sand and, and get over on the top of that. Uh, and uh, away we go. So there we go. Something new, something different. Uh, there is absolutely zero information on the internet about this. I couldn't find anything. I searched and searched and searched. Uh, boiling out the ceramic shell. Who knew? Uh, thanks for watching. I'll let you know what happens with it.